Hello, this is Ami Diamond, and in this episode, I'll share with you a strange thing I found in Microsoft Teams. So, uh, I have a channel, or I have a site, which is called Site One, and within the site, actually, I have a channel which is called General. Now, here I have several uh, tabs. I have post, post, I have a file, uh, and uh, I would like to add um, in one of the tabs a, a new document library which exists but it's not here so uh, what I would do is actually click the plus uh, before that I will go to the document library I want to add uh, copy the URL okay and uh, I will click the plus button and the first uh, feature I have is actually document library. So I choose this and I will use the SharePoint list and I will press on go. I will press next and I will choose the document library. I'll give it a name. Let's call it uh, 123. And what happens is that actually I see here um, the SharePoint document library, but uh, it's quite, uh, I it doesn't have all of the columns. I'm all of the uh, look and feel is a bit uh, not that uh, not like it is in the practical. Because uh, you see here, I have the status, I have the due date, and yet here it's it's not. So, um, I didn't know what to do, but then I tried a new possibility. So, instead of using the document library feature, I tried using the SharePoint. If I choose SharePoint, here I can choose uh, from this site or from another site, but here I'm choosing either from pages, lists, and document libraries. If I choose the document library I want and choose it and save it, now I see it in with all of the columns, with the view, with the filter, every, even I can sync. So um, it seems like I would not uh, use at all this uh, document library because the SharePoint uh, feature has everything. So uh, this is a short tip that I would like to share with you. Um, would be happy to hear what you think. Um, yeah, and see you in the next episodes. Goodbye. Have a good day.